Hello, I am Dr. Atul Nagpuri and I welcome all of you to my YouTube chemistry channel. Today our topic is application of chelating agent in an industry. In the last video, we have discussed the application of chelating agent in a chemical analysis including the key the qualitative analysis of the metal ligand as a masking agent as precipitant and so on in this lecture we'll try to focus that how these chelating agent can be employed in a industrial sector so uh, this is i have the complex one complex shows in which we have metal here the kind of compound and the metal uh, can be a uh, various metal like uh, arsenic like lead can be copper nickel and uh, so on so if you look at this structure very carefully the metal is binding pro properly to that uh, ligand moiety because a uh, chelating ligand can form a large number of bond so the uh, bonding capacity is stronger and this kind of technique or this kind of strategy can be very useful in the industrial sector so this is uh, some applications i have named that in first we have pharmaceuticals paper and pulp industry softening of the water food and beverages agrochemical industry a textile industry personal care and household paint industry oil and gas industry catalysis and surfactant industry and many more so just look at the first point how we can use this chelating agent in a pharma industry i would just like to share one incident which was happened in a japan so in in those those day industry has released some poisonous compound of the mercury and that has come into the water body nearby minamata city in the japan country once this poisonous mercury comes into the water body that was ultimately by accumulated and by magnified in the body of the fish afterward this fish was eaten by local population nearby that lake and so that mercury which was in, in industry now comes into the human body and after that a various uh, neurological diseases has start to ha happen in the humans and this is the one of the tra tragedy and well known as minamata disease right so if you look at the mercury was in industry now comes into the body and causing a uh, various disorder in the human body and the same way if you look at lead arsenic and many other metal ion can can cause the same problem and here's how the chelating agent uh, plays an important role so if by mistake you have heavy metal ion in your body the source can be water or can be you know food and so on so when these are present in our human body that is not good for the human system and finally it has to be extracted from the body if you have taken some chelating agent for example if we have lead poisoning for lead poisoning generally a calcium and sodium salt of eda has been used and doctor will give the injection which contain uh, this chelating agent then after having injection this chelating agent now will go to the specific site to the body they will form a linkages with the lead metal and will help you to extract from the body and this is the one of the important application of chelating agent where we can able to remove the uh, heavy metal ions from the body in in addition to that if your body has excess amount of copper or gold or iron this is not good so in that way also 
a specific chelating agent can play a significant role because these chelating agents are the specific in nature say for example if you have three metal ion and if you use a specific ligand that ligand will only react or form a complex with particular metal ion and this specificity can be uh, widely employed in the industrial uh, sector so the one first uh, important application in the pharma industry just to remove the metals from the body but a care should be taken because sometimes it has been observed that vit vitamin c or vitamin e as well as the important nutrient can also be get removed from the body so while using a uh, chelating therapy proper care must be taken in addition to this we can also use a chelating agent like ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid as a uh, anticoagulant agent in which this ed ligand react with the uh, calcium ion in the body and will form a calcium ed complex many dentists use this chelating agent just to lubricate a uh, root canal and so on this is what the overall discussion about the pharmaceutical industry now the second we have a paper and pulp industry in paper and pulp industry ligands molecule help to get desired level of the brightness because if you have a minute concentration of metal ion say for example manganese a manganese plus 2 are well known to uh, catalyze the degradation of hydrogen peroxide so if you want a desired brightness the uh, the what do you call this uh, the compound or the material should be metal free and that's how the ligand can be very handy in this case then we have a softening of the water a softening of the water uh, basically if you have hard water and you know hard water actually contain a calcium and magnesium ion and these hard water will not be good for drinking per purpose as well as it will not uh we good also for industrial uses in the cases we have to remove excessive amount of calcium and the magnesium here again the ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid that is edda can be very good to remove this calcium magnesium ion because they will form water soluble complex and it will uh, can can be removed easily from the water so as to get a good quality of the water for drinking and this water can now we can use for the industrial purpose now uh, next one we have of uh, food and beverages in food and beverages this ligand molecule actually act as a stabilizing and preservating agent because if we have uh, some metal ion in the present in the juice or fruits or vegetable they can help you uh, they they can help this vegetable or the fruits to degrade because they will react with the air and start to decompose uh, the food material and that's how the life get decreases and here also this plays a important role the next we have agrochemical industry in the agrochemical industry this metal chelating complex can act as a source of nutrient because sometimes it has been observed that the plant has the deficiency of the metal like manganese like iron like copper and zinc and if you form the complex of the manganese uh, zinc and copper with the specific ligand and that can be transported to the plant and that that's how this metal chelating ligand complex act as a source to provide the nutrient to the plant then next we have the textile industry and the textile industry the presence of a small quantity of the metallic species can help to uh, modify the color of that you know cloth so if you wanted to have your required color or required brightness in such cases you should be very much sure that that uh, compound does not have any kind of metallic impurity then we have a personal care and household 
the ligand molecule also can be used in personal care for your own information the many cosmetic creams you know uh, deodorant perfume bath soaps and so on they has the chelating agent and they help you to get rid of the uh, metallic iron now here we have paint next we have paint industry in the paint industry i would like to tell a very important thing that in the paint industry the uh, metal chelating complex or chelating mostly it has been found that the chelates and the metal chelating complexes are colored in nature say for example if you want a pink color yellow color a blue color red color uh, and so on so whatever the color you are you are looking for you can ab able to uh, get those color by just mo modifying the combination of metal and the ligand so the finally this ligand can help you to get a required require a quality of the color to to your you know a cloth uh, next we have oil and gas industry uh, in oil and gas industry in the process of drilling for production and for refining of the oil and gases is also help for production purpose and the use of chelating agent is also cost effective i'm just giving one example uh, in a earlier days the hydrofluoric acid and hydrochloric acid used for the treatment but now the process has been stopped because hcl and hf are not the good are actually not a candidate are not good candidate for the environment point of view and that has to be replaced by some agent which are not harmful to the environment in such cases nowadays ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid is a uh, useful and they replace that conventional hcl and the hf then we have a catalysis uh, people who are working in the material science or catalysis they will know that how this chelating agent and metal chelating complex can use for development of various kinds of catalysis catalyst basically it can be homogeneous catalyst it can be heterogeneous catalyst and if you properly uh, make combination of the metal and the ligand and that like if you can take a uh, like gold or ruthenium or platinum or palladium and with specific ligand that the combination of chelating ligand and the metal can be designed in a such a way in order to carry out the particular chemical transformation it can be used for oxidation for hydrogenation for isomerization for coupling and so on so whatever the chemical transformation you wanted to conduct you can conduct by choosing a metal ion and the ligand combination and then next we are surfactant industry because these uh, these ligands molecules are actually having a uh, polar and non polar parts so if i take one ligand one ain can be hydrophobic and one ain can be hydrophilic and due to that characteristics it can also be employed in the surfactant industry so if you look at the overall discussion these chelating agent can be used in various sector not only these many of the industry use that chelating agent in, in order to uh, it is the cost effective nature of the you no know, system now if you look at this complex here now this chelating agent can form a two bond three bond four bond five bond six bond so what happened what how this strategy plays a important role here once we have metal it can be in any stream it can be in a body or it can be in a pulp or in the water and so on so uh, we have the metal at particular source and we are adding the chelate what what they will do they will uh, try to form a complex and once they form the complex this complex now uh, can be uh solid in nature or can be soluble 
or can we have a various colors all together and this property now finally employed in order to extract that right so this is the uh, a type of the you know a uh, type of, of the uh, characteristics which will help to remove that metal ion from the solution nowadays people are focusing mostly on use of biodegradable filtering agent for your information the uh, salt of gluconic acid now has been used widely because they can be a biocompatible and they can degrade faster and hence the most of the industry industry now are looking forward to use biodegradable uh, chirting agent rather than using a non biodegradable chirting agent like amino polycarboxylate or poly phosphates and so on because these non biodegradable chirting agent uh, can have the bad impact on the environment so uh, people are now focusing on bio based chirting agent so this is actually all about the application of chelating agent in the industry i hope that you like this video if you have any question please give me comment thanks for watching be in touch and always look at my youtube channel for chemistry lover thank you have a nice day